the, the grammar voice. In Hindi, it is called watch. The definition of voice is when the verb goes according to according to subject and an object in the sentence then it is called voice it means there are two parts of the definition the first part of the definition says when the verb goes according to subject he invites his friend he invites his verb while he is subject we find that the verb goes according to subject the first part of the definition is proved. The second part of the definition, the definition says that the verb goes according to object. He, his friend is, invite, is invited by him. He had invited his wife and his friend is object. We find that the verb goes according to object. The definition of voice is completely proved. Now kinds of kinds of voice. According to the traditional and modern grammar, there are two kinds of voice. Active voice and passive voice. Active voice when the verb goes according to according to subject then it is called active voice Mohan takes my pen. He completed his task. You will send a letter. Here, Mohan, he and you are subject. White text completed and sent are verbs. We find that these verbs go according to subject. We may say that these verbs follow the path of subject. That is called active voice. Passive voice.
when the verb goes according to according to an object in the sentence then it is called it is called passive voice for example my pen is taken by mohan his task was completed by him a letter will be written who will be sent sent by you here we find that taken completed and sent are verbs while my pen hit talks a letter are objects we find that these verbs goes according to object so it is the example of the passive voice now how do we change how do we change the active voice active voice into passive voice or as you have read uh, case there are four kinds of case nominative case objective case possessive case and vocative case rule first nominative case possessive case uh, objective case and possessive case i me my mine we us our you you yo he him his she her her they them there it it its uh in passive voice the subject of active voice the subject of active voice goes in the place of in the place of of uh, of object place of object in passive voice passive voice how it tells a story 
सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एक्टिव वॉइस गोज इन द प्लेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन पैसिव वॉइस हाउ आर स्टोरी is told by him the condition is that nominative case changes into objective case here we find that we i have used him him is an objective case when a uh, the object of active voice active voice comes in the place of place of of an object in passive voice How I repeat the matter here I belongs to nominative case. Our matter is now, but it belongs. It dwells in objective case. Now the subject of active voice has gone in the place of an object in passive voice. Now the object of the active voice comes in the place of subject. the matter is repeated by me here the subject i took the place of of an object in passive voice now according to according to an object subject of passive voice uh, according to an object uh, of passive voice passive voice we use to be verb means auxiliary verb auxiliary verb according to according to tense the principal verb changes into past participle past participle we use by by in passive voice but here is a contradiction between tradition traditional grammar and modern grammar modern grammar says that we use by while the modern grammar says that it is no need of it so we may put object in bracket if 
if adjective or adverb is used then we do not change it change it if possessive case is used then we do not change possessive case now next class i will tell you about how to change the active voice into passive voice